trying to help her out. What you're doing has been enabling her so bad. And, and people are mad because I know that my friends, even all the years I was using, they didn't enable me like you do, Lisa. They didn't try to control my life. It, it's almost like misery loves company. Like, you're not happy, so by God, you're going to make sure that you do everything to make sure Lisa stays where she's at so that she's not happy. Somebody said it the other day that it seems like as long as Lisa is worse than you, then you don't feel quite so bad about yourself. It's not that anybody hates you, Kim. It's not that anybody, well, I, I can't say anybody. I don't. I don't, because I do understand that you're trying to be Lisa's friend, but do you understand that you're not being her friend? And that's why people are so mad at you? No, I think that everybody only sees one side of mine and Lisa's friendship. They don't see half the shit that goes on behind the scenes. Is a 39 year old adult that makes her own decisions and I am not one with a gun to her head telling her to go live and beg for money or nor do I tell her to make up lies to get money I actually tell her just to be honest about what she wants the money for because more people would probably donate but yes no I can understand why people think I enable her but it, it, it you guys you guys don't see anything that happens, like, between me and Lisa. You guys just read the conspiracy theories online and think that, that that's just automatically what it is. I, I don't think that. I, I don't think that, that some of the conspiracy theories and the, and the, the cash apps and the PayPal's, I don't think that's all, that's all you. I think that Lisa pretty much rules the roost on that stuff. But you claim to be her friend. And you're just not being her friend. If you're her friend, you would just say, no, I'm not going to do this or I'm not going to do this. You know, it's it's like you give in to her and, and you don't call her on her bullshit. So I, I do call her on, a bull, on her bullshit, but mm -hmm. you wouldn't know that because you don't listen to our phone calls or you don't hear us talk all day. But mm -hmm. I don't know. You're going to have your own opinion and I don't. Um, blame you for that, you know. I maybe enable Lisa, but I also don't enable Lisa, and I am a friendship. I do, I am a friend to her. I have begged her to go to detox or a program for I don't know how long, and I finally actually got her to start making the three-way calls for the last four days. As soon as I started making her the three-way calls, then that's when other people started jumping in and being like, hey, Hunter's mom, for a prime example, made a three-way call with her the morning of, I don't know what morning. But Lisa would have never done that with anybody else. Like, that would have never even been an option for anybody unless I let them know that we were making the three-way calls trying to get her into a program. So, you guys can think that I'm a shitty friend to Lisa, but friendship goes both ways. Like, just because I say yes to her about things doesn't mean I don't say no to her about things either. I'll, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. I just, you know, she just, <laughs> it's a very toxic relationship, and a lot of people can see that. And I don't think bad of you, and I don't hate you for it, because I can see where you're coming from, but I wish you could see where everybody else was coming from at the same time. You know, Lisa is one, one foot in the grave. So, that's all I got. I'll let someone else speak. Skippity, you want to go next? Sure. One thing, can we get gift permissions, please, in the chat? And also, I want to know what you think about Lisa telling you to turn on the subscriptions to make us pay for this. I would never turn on the subscriptions to make anyone pay for my Discord. I didn't say you would. I said, what do you think of Lisa telling you to do that? I think that Lisa likes to make money. I think mm -hmm. she likes different avenues and resources that she can use to make money 
and I do try and help her come up with solutions for that. Like, I have been telling her for the last, I don't know, couple weeks to come up with Cameo. Actually, more than a couple weeks, if that's, a, like, it's a good way to make money. But the Discord just isn't an option. It's just I not agree. a... I just think it's fucked up that she even suggested it to you. I mean, I don't think it's fucked up. Because it is a Discord that does um, trash on her a lot, but they also trash on me as well, and they also trash on other creators. So agree, but that's what we're all here for. Let's be real. No, oh, yeah, you for sure. You made it, really. I know. I right. I don't. I like that. I like the Discord. It's like one of even if you like it, that's okay. Even if I do get torn apart, I still like it. I don't care what people say or say to me. Okay. I really, it doesn't bother me, but she's been bringing up the tears for a while now, and I've just been coming up with other avenues for money rather than just try and charge people to come into my Discord. Because right. I, don't, I don't think it's fair to have people come in here and talk shit for... Three dollars and ninety nine cents. It just doesn't. Right. I don't like it. Yeah. All right. Well, and again, can you turn on gift permissions in the chat? That would be nice. A lot of us aren't getting it, and then you have to tap a thing to look at the gift. And I remember it was on before. It was on a couple of days ago. It was, but and then you guys were kind of like going overboard with it. I'll turn them on for you, but and then if it at, if it ends up being that the chat is just all gifts and like no talk, then I'm gonna turn them back off. Yeah, I get it. I get it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. For anybody else's talks, um, I really was just a, I don't know, Lisa's right next to me. Lisa, you want to speak real quick? You want me to blow it already, girl? Kind of, yeah, why not? Hey, y'all, I'm here, I'm here. Keep going, keep going, you're doing great. Okay, so should... <laughs> Um, whoever wants to go next, go ahead. I just have a quick question. Um, what the, you said that you're not, you don't enable her, but out of your own mouth, you said that you give her money on the back end. So how is that not enabling? I said there are ways that I do enable her, and then there was ways that I don't enable her. Well, first you said you didn't. And, um, the next question is from the chat. Um, they're wondering why are we, or why are you, not we, obviously, announcing, um, the YouTube, because if you get a thousand subscribers, you start making money. Where did I announce the YouTube? I believe Lisa is announcing it. Okay, because you said, where did you announce it, or why did you announce it, right? Well, I said, I said we, because I included it my, For my me, phone. or for Lisa? Well, for Lisa, since now that she's up here. Okay. I mean, you want me to be brutally honest about the YouTube, or? Yeah, obviously. Okay. Well, well, here it is. Your tone, Kim, get ready. Your tone is disgusting, ma'am. You're talking to her like she's trash. Kim, get ready. The YouTube, I don't have monetized, okay? When we sit here for hours and make this content, we own this content that we make, right? So it's not monetized. I have no plan on monetizing it. But that's it. 
She has every right to monetize off her content if she wants to. Yeah. Everyone else in this area or that records this shit or her lives monetizes off of it. But there's more than a thousand followers. There's actually like five or six things you have to do to kind of be monetized. And I probably won't even be monetized because of the content, honestly. I don't know. I didn't even look into it, honestly. But People it's just not the point. I was trying to do it. Like download it from my page and put it up. I don't know. So yeah. they asked me to. And she has every right to do that because it is her content. I'll be right back. Next. Okay, well, I guess I'll go. Um, Okay, I have a couple questions. One, obviously, you must have seen by now the texts that have come out on exposing Lisa Richard TikTok with Diesel. I'm sure you've seen those. And my question is, one I don't of my know TikTok. So you you don't even you haven't seen the the text and the chat discussing. You know, somebody reached out to Diesel and he said Lisa's not clean. No, I didn't see anything like that. Okay, well, I would strongly urge you as her friend to look at those and you know maybe you can speak on the legitimacy of them or not but the chat that has um picture permissions that can post the screenshots because if i'm not mistaken we haven't talked to diesel and over like actually let me look at my messages hold on one second i'll let you know the last time we talked to diesel well the last time you talked that's not saying no. i have to out to him right oh. he's saying as last night she was reaching out to him telling him to stand by yeah of course september 29th was the last time he called me and he asked if basically lisa stopped going through him so he reached out to me like wondering what was going on dude listen i guess i just found this out too and i really don't give a fuck if they believe me or not literally do you remember yesterday when we were on the phone and i was at the store and I was texting about the smoke money, and I said, can you swing by? I'm at the store. And I said, fuck, I text that to Diesel. I guess somebody got that somehow. I don't even know how. And they're saying I was telling him to swing by the store 20 minutes away when he don't drive or has never done that, which makes a lot of sense. the car. That's the addict. It's fine. In order, to you have gone, like, in order for you had to have gone and met Diesel, you would have needed lift rides to go there and back. But I, they they just brought up the messages and I I don't we don't scroll TikTok like that I don't scroll TikTok I don't go to pages and check out what's posted for the day on exposing Lisa Richard it's just not something yeah. like I don't mean to interrupt you I didn't find, I didn't see him on TikTok I actually saw him here on Discord they were saying they were on somebody's TikTok but they they are here on this Discord somewhere I've seen him under some chat but. Again, that was just a question. I was wondering, you know, the legitimacy of them and if it was true. But again, Lisa's here. She gave an explanation. Um, the the next question I have, I'll let that go. If you haven't seen them, then I'm not going to have you speak on them. But the next question is, you know, you know, I know you just mentioned that you were recommending Cameo and some other things for Lisa. And again... <laughs> I, I'm being trying. I'm trying to be as respectful as possible here. Those are sources of income that you're recommending to an active addict. You can see why some people would be like, because you know, you're, you're an addict yeah, you're an in life to try and succeed. Just because you're labeled an addict, you're not allowed to go and make money. No, I, I don't think no, that that's at all. But you know, what like, like get the fuck out of here. People are stupid. Kimmy, what? I just called D. You want to know what he said to me? What? He said, I know that was on accident. I could tell by what you said. He said, I answered because now I have who is behind that page for you. Well, oh, look at C. He's so smart and sweet. I'm glad he has who was behind that page. Why would they even expose themselves like that? But then, really quick, just to even just like, oh, why would you give her the idea of cameo? Why would you give her the, an addict a, a way to make money? 
sources to make money, etc. Why would I not? Why is just because she's an addict, she can't make money? You guys bitch that she fucking begs for money on TikTok all day long. But and then I give her options so that she's not begging. And then she's still not allowed. Like, it's still a horrible thing for her to fucking go and do cameo or post her own YouTube videos to try and monetize off of it just because everybody else monetizes. Like, that, how does that make sense? Make that make sense to me right now, please. Because just because she is an addict does not mean she doesn't deserve to earn a source of income. Kimmy, just hey. Stick up for yourself. I, I got myself, okay? Because I don't want someone coming after you for anything you say, okay? Just seriously, okay? I'm up here, um, you know, not to tell you what to do. If you feel you have to, I'm just saying don't feel like you have to, please. Please. Can you hear me? <coughs> Reality check, you can go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Hi, Lisa, Kim. Um, this is actually gonna be nice. This is Chrissy. Remember me? You doxed me. Um, and Lisa, um, you I'm, remember me? No, I was yeah, a Seventy year old woman that has cancer, right? And my mom does, yeah. Up, oh wait, no, wait. Chrissy, Chrissy is a 70-year-old cancer woman. I thought you were a woman that wanted to buy a TikTok is Chrissy. I can't. Hey guys, it's Chrissy, the girl you doxxed. I doxed a 70-year-old cancer woman. That's who I doxed. That's not a 70-year-old cancer woman. Wait, you doxxed her? Why? Wait, what? It's the girl you sold my page to, the Sizzler page. The yeah. said old woman that wanted to buy a TikTok page that has cancer that started posting all that shit on our page about us. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? That that's her? It. Yes. Okay, I couldn't hear. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Hi, it's Chrissy, the girl that you dox. Well, no, you're a 70 year old fucking woman with cancer. That, oh, unless you were just pretending to be a 70 year old woman with cancer. She'll be, I'll argue with her when she comes back as either her husband or her daughter. It's all good. I just, I don't remember you doxing her. I missed that Lisa. part. I was calling to talk to Lisa. I wanted to say a few things, but then I just got attacked before I even got two sentences out. And you remember me, Lisa. I'm the girl with the lips. I'm here. I'm here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Right. I'm the friend and had the lift and let you use the lift and stuff but i don't want to talk about what happened with that because i'm not mad at you for that i wanted to tell you i forgive you i want to tell you that <laughs> it's the woman that actually doxed your address by posting the lift rides that she gave you and she, she forgives you for that is that, I thought, is that what she said? I thought she said she, what, wait, okay. She forgives you for the things that you, for, that you did to her on her Lyft account when she willingly gave you that $100 Lyft credit and made, like, let you take those Lyft rides. But then she's bitching that she got docs, except for that she docs your family's address the very first time she docs your mom's mother, I mean, your mother's number. She also docs a couple other things. This is. This is the lady. I'm just. Yeah, my mom got harassed because of that, and uh, what happened? That actually, if I'm pissed about anything, it actually is that right there. To be honest, because if you're beefing with Kim, why did you put my mom's 
phone number out? Why didn't you put Kim's number out? Right? Well, I had your number because you called me a bunch of times for money if you're a member. And I sent you quite a bit, actually. I know I shouldn't have, but I did. I did. Because at that time, we were friends. I did give you the lift and the credit that was on it. Then you yeah. charged on it. And then my card. And you, and you admitted it. I have all the text. But that's not even why I wanted to speak. I wanted to speak to tell you that you're doing great. And that you have every right to monetize anything you want to monetize. You do deserve a source of income. You're a human being. I still think, like I told you before, you're a very smart woman. You're not stupid. Thank and that you. I'm proud of where you're going. I'm very proud of where you're going and how you're doing it. And that I believe you. I believe you're doing the right things. I believe you're going the right way. But you don't even have to prove that to anybody. But if you're anyone right. sees from what you did before to what you're doing now, you can see that you're going the right direction. Just yeah. definitely. Easy to see. And I'm not angry anymore. Oh, I was. I was. But I'm not angry anymore. What, what's that going to get anybody? Didn't get and, nothing. and I don't blame you. I mean, everybody did certain things, and it really doesn't matter who did what first, but all three of us did, you know, malicious things in this, right? So, you know, yeah, everybody. Exactly. Just, and I didn't um, want to talk about that because, you know, that was just a mess. We all got into it. It was a big mess. Everybody did things that were wrong. Everybody got mad. But I'm not mad anymore. I just wanted you to know. I still... Care about you. I'm not mad. I'm just happy that you're doing the right thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I still appreciate, you know, I was even in the messages, you can see I was surprised when I was like, oh, I got to get a lift. And you're like, well, I have credits from, you know, I won't say from where, but, you know, you can use my account. Like, I was so happy. Like, I do appreciate you trying to help me. I really do. And I'm sorry things like I, you and Kim got into it and I kind of got caught in the middle. Um, but, it is what it is, you know what I mean? But uh, I, I think, appreciate it. I apologize. I you have a good heart. I do. You, you do have a good heart. You can show you're a good person. You know how you can show you're a good person? Because you're so kind. That kitty that was in your lap. And, and, and you just was loving on it, caring about it. And whether people believe that or not, that, that man, you're okay. You are good. And I think once you hit that mark and take that first step i think you're just gonna slam that rehab and get right through it because you I can know. tell 